uh, uh, smoothly and simply. You can see the operation of the machine. It has a display going on. You can tweak. You can see on this necessary accessories that you might need to receive being delivered, and then the patient gets it. This, I can tell you, one room fully designed, and then uh, nothing from this place is done from outside Nigeria. Locally designed by our engineers in the icon. The, the manual is here, the user uh, reference manual is also available, and then you can see. Uh, Another application, another good thing about this can be controlled. It can be controlled using your phone. When you develop an application that why you are far away from it, you can use it and then you can serve the, uh, you can use that to monitor whatever is going on in the application. It was called the spread of the virus is um, uh, Kind of. So, the icon we looked at, she went to the market to go to the sanitizers. Because now, by year of where every person is producing sanitizer, we went into the research and to our greatest surprise, we discovered that most of the sanitizers sold openly in the market for short of the standard expected. The, the world head of the modern laboratories, we were able to come out with these sanitizers. What's your, at the end of your foundation, the table like this, are you sure you are still getting the quality you got at the end? Ensure that the standard minimum also ensuring that the, the, the product is formulated under the best environment. We have very good environment. We have the capacity to produce different variants of this. We have the ones that we have find leveling and developing. We make sure that the pH of this like of this sanitizer is still friendly. We are deliver it to any place, any quantity, any time. And we feel it is our own contribution towards fighting the COVID-19. The Nigeria Army has ordered almost 18,000 pieces of this, which we are delivering within the week. And because they have experimented with it and found it very, very dependent, it is not enough to just go out of the street and buy any information and start writing to your and start using it on your pants. You should be sure that what you are using will actually protect you. And that is what the cancer does. Thank you. It comes with the nose mask like you see I'm wearing. It's no longer news today that the country are no all over the world. And that's why we at Daikon have been able to produce this to analysis in comparison to the one that is imported from outside Nigeria and then than the one that is being imported. It comes in various sizes uh, and if, uh, our uh, Cardinal State Government is, has made requests for over the past. can be used nationally to be able to have, After it's being where you can see the man is holding it and then this man is ready. Subsequently, we are taking back the government and we are expecting that definitely they are going to give us needed support from our Let me give you the generalist response. Yes. COVID-19 pandemic and the attendant effects goes down. So I think what we will do is that we will now begin to uh, keep you busy, furnish you with the information as they are going down, just like the poor president did, the army did, the navy do did, and then the air force will begin to, will go to furnish you what we are doing it, down to the lowest level. Thank you very much. If uh, we have the funds, 
who are trying to expand our base. We have challenges of procuring some of the parts locally. But then we have overcome those challenges because we build a great arrangement with our clients, both in Lagos and in Kaduna, to be able to uh, supply us what we need to use for the production. So what we good news here is that um, we have the capacity, we have the manpower, we have the zeal to assist our nation because we cannot depend on most of these things coming from us. We will have the abundance national and uh, human resources to assist the government. Thank you very much. There's another angle that is called emergency procurement, emergency production. So this one also falls into it. In war, there is, we have a special, uh, what we call it, waiver that you can procure under emergency procurement. In medicine also, but until you have subjected it to scientific uh, proofs, then you can begin to patent it and then say this is it. So everything happening for COVID is an emergency, emergency, emergency. Thank you. officials of the federal government visited and they have also visited them and they have asked them to, to submit proposals and they are almost even Kaduna State government so for patronage there is no problem. Then like what whether they are using our facilities that we have provided. Like I told you earlier on, we are at the third line of support. We have the primary health care, the secondary health care and now since the number is increasing the government will first of all exhaust all those ones before they now come to us, which we don't even pray for. Like any other armed forces of the world, like even in Britain, they have mobilized 20,000, 23,000, 3,000 active now, running the supplies. The one that we are supposed to do now, we are doing, particularly in the airlift logistics. You see the Air Force did that initial one, the ones that requires emergency. And then there was no provision for a civilian flight college, then it was stopped totally. So we are there. So now we are on that third line of support, waiting. So everything is on course. So they are not supposed to use us first. They are supposed to you know, exhaust. And as I speak with you, to my knowledge, I stand to be corrected, they have not even exhausted the first line. In Lagos, they have over 1,000 spaces for, uh, for isolation. How many are they using now? Now that the, the, the figure has gotten to about 600, but in that 600, you now have to subtract the people that are going on discharge. In Abuja, we have facilities to accommodate, to be able to take care of. That is from the information they are giving us, about 1,000 also. So until all these ones are exhausted before they will now come to the military, and the military is ready for that. So it's not that they will, uh, they will say we'll provide, and then we, they are not going to use it, no. And the thing is that I will tell you as a Christian that nobody prays for that. That they put the number will get to such a level that we we'll have, you know, 1,000, you know, isolated. No, it's not anybody's prayer. But the military armed forces is ready, just like. And I can tell you that we are proactive. The moment the president gave the directive, we went into action. So that is it. Thank you, my.